Dr. Norm, and I'm passionately committed to you being the best you you can be. And these are your optimal health essentials, a series of conscious concepts to radically empower you and your life. With healing, it's often a process as layers and layers of stress and tension are peeled back and the body starts to regenerate itself bit by bit. And healing sometimes is also spontaneous where radical shifts can happen almost instantaneously. I've had a number of spontaneous healings in my own life that I love to share with other people to inspire them as to the potentials of healing. What's possible for one is possible for all. One of the most amazing healing experiences that I've ever had was with my right knee. As a child, I was uh, wrestling with a friend of mine, Glenn Zadrill. And at the time, I was actually quite a gangly kid. I didn't have a lot of muscles in my legs. And I was trying to wrestle him and push him over. And then all of a sudden, I hear, felt this whack and excruciating pain happen to my knee. And when I looked out, looked down, my kneecap was actually lodged against my femur. I was so freaked out by the grotesqueness of what I saw and the pain, I actually began punching it to try and put it back into place. It was lying on my back and screaming in agony. Hours later, I woke up in the hospital and they had given me three doses of liquid morphine to try and numb the pain enough for the doctor to put pressure on here to flip the knee back into place. From there, then the treatment was, the medical treatment, what they saw needed to be done, was to put me in a full leg cast right from here to here for the next six weeks and have me hobble around on crutches to try and atrophy the knee enough and shrink the ligaments for my knee not to dislocate itself. After those six weeks, my knee was so atrophied and shrunken, it was almost impossible to, for me to bend my knee. So then I went to physiotherapy where they worked on stretching my knee, which looked like me lying on a table, and the physiotherapist coming from behind me and pushing with almost all his might up against my knee to try and stretch the ligaments again to regain my movement. I did this for about three or four months, and then strength training afterwards. Five months later, I'd nearly rebuilt the flexibility and strength that I had before the accident. Again, a year and a half later, playing hockey, I did the same thing. Full leg cast, rehab, five or six months later, I nearly rebuilt my knee again. Fast forward a number of years later into chiropractic college, we were out one night uh, dancing, and uh, I thought I would impress the crowd and show them I, one of my greatest dance moves. It was, a, it was kind of a Michael Jackson type move, and what I did I was jump up in the air and do a 360 in the air, and then land doing the splits. And the moment I landed, I could feel my knee go crack. I just dislocated my knee again. At the same time, I look up, and the amazement of everybody looking at me, wow, you just did that. That was amazing. And I said, wow, I can't believe what I just did. You're right. And so the next morning, got up, went to school, hobbled, made my way to school. And uh, it happened that that evening we were leaving for a trip down to New Jersey for our chiropractic workshop. I didn't have time to go and see the medical doctor. I didn't have time to go and get a cast put on. And I honestly wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. But I thought, well, we're off for the weekend. Let's go and enjoy myself there. We can figure this out when we get back. So I spent the night on the bus, drove through the night, didn't sleep a wink. I was in complete agony. I spent, you know, sitting on the aisle seat so my leg could be straight out, stretched, and, uh, you know, just make it there. Once we got to the conference, we listened to the first couple of speakers, and then on the break, uh, we went outside. And what we do in chiropractic workshops is we adjust one another, and we get adjusted. So I waited in line to be adjusted, and there was this long lineup to, to be adjusted by this one guy, and finally I get up to the front, and here's this fellow, I look at him, I'm like, wow, you're gonna work with me? And you know, he looked like he'd just gotten off the tractor, he was wearing this old kind of plaid shirt, and I'm like, oh well, if I've waited this long, fine, I'll get on the table. So in, before I lie on the table, I, I look at him, I, I explain to him what had just happened to my knee, and I said, you know, this, my knee just dislocated and you really should adjust this area here, L2, L3, as this innervates the knee, can you please work with that? 
He just smiled and looked at me and said, lie down, let me adjust you. And Nate will figure it out. So I lie down on the table and he adjusted me here, here, and once in the mid back here. And that was it. I got off the table really upset as he totally didn't adjust where I wanted him to or where I thought he should. And uh, from there then we went out to, to lunch. And when we were walking to lunch, I remember stepping off the curb and having a knee that supported me underneath. I went, wow, that's different. And then during lunch, sitting at the table, I was able to actually bend my knee to fit underneath the table. I was like, wow, that's different. My knee progressively got better through the whole day until the climax was when we got back to the hotel room. It was a long day. It was about 10 o'clock at night. And we had to climb up a series of stairs to get up to our hotel room. And my friend Jeff Soule looked at me and he said, you know, oh man, it's been such a long day. We just drove through the night. I really don't want to make it up these flight of stairs. I said, Jeff, why don't you jump on my back? I'll piggyback you up the flight of stairs. So he did just that. He jumped on my back and I literally ran up the stairs carrying him all the way up there. So just imagine the old paradigm was, you know, six weeks full leg cast rehab for another three, four months, five or six months later, regaining 80, 90% of my strength and flexibility that I once had. And what happened in one adjustment in literally hours produced the same result. The power to heal is so profound and it lives inside each one of us. I'm Dr. Norm, cheering you on to be the best you you can be. Please visit my Facebook fan page where you can sign up to receive free weekly emails and videos. And also visit my website where you can look, have a look at my full list of products and services. Take care and be well.